Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to drip out your course content in MemberPress courses. Content dripping lets you slowly release your course sections, lessons, quizzes, and assignments out to students over time, as opposed to all at once. So instead of a student signing up for a course and then getting the whole thing all at one time, they'll get course material out over days, weeks, and even months. This can be really useful to prevent students from getting too overwhelmed with too much material all at one time. And it can let you as a course creator control exactly who gets to see what lessons and when. Now this is going to be a pretty basic tutorial on built-in course content dripping, so you can get started setting up your course dripping right away. But be sure to check out our extensive support documentation on course content dripping for much more in-depth guidance on the whole process. So here are my sample MemberPress website. I have a few online courses all built out right here with MemberPress courses. So if I click to edit one, and then go to the Curriculum tab, you can see my course all built out right here with my lessons, quizzes, and assignments, and they're all contained in sections. So in courses, you have one or more sections, and then within those sections, you could have lessons, quizzes, and assignments. So sections let you divide up your content and group items together. So how you organize your lessons, quizzes, and assignments within sections can be useful to determine when specific groups of them are released if you choose to drip or time release content by sections. And that's because with course dripping, you can choose to release everything in a specific section all at one time. Or you can also choose to release individual items like lessons and quizzes separately. And don't worry, we're gonna see some more examples later in the video of what I'm talking about. Okay, so to set up your dripping on a course, right here on the course, go to the settings tab, and then come down here to enable dripping. And then toggle it on. So the first option you see here is drip type. This is how the content is actually being released out. So like I just mentioned, it can either be by section, which is how you divide up your course content like we just saw earlier. So just going back to my curriculum here, this is a section, this is a section, this is a section. And you can easily add sections right here. So again, sections are sort of the containers that divide up your course lessons, quizzes, and assignments. So you can drip out by section. So if you choose to do that, every single lesson, quiz, and assignment within a section will be released all together. So over days, weeks, or whatever you choose. So going back to the settings tab, you can choose section, which will drip out your material section by section one section after the other as it appears on your course. Or in the dropdown, you can choose item, which will ignore the sections and drip out your items, meaning lessons, quizzes, and assignments, one by one, one after the other as they appear in your course. So when you have the drip type set to item, you can see these checkboxes. These let you choose what items are dripped. So enable all of them to drip everything, or select what types of items that you want to drip out. So maybe you only want to drip out your quizzes, just as one example. So in that case, you would just only select quizzes here, like this. Now, if you leave any of these items unchecked or deselected, they'll be available to your students instantly when they get access to the course. So those items will be excluded from your dripping. So only items enabled right here will be the ones that get dripped out. For most use cases, generally, you'll probably want to drip out everything, so you would just check all the items that you see here. So for my course, here for this example, I'm going to choose item, and then choose to drip out all of them. Next, you see not drip message. This message will show to someone when they try to view an item that hasn't been dripped out yet. In that case, they'll see this message right here. So this is the default message, but you can edit it too. And these are dynamic pieces of content right here that will display to the user. So it's not actually going to show this text right here that you see. It'll actually display its corresponding information to the user. And this tooltip here has some other pieces of dynamic content that you can copy and paste to display as well, as well as an explanation of what each of these are. So just use the default message here or edit it if you need to. Next, we have drip frequency. This is the actual interval that your sections or items will be released out to students, which can be by days, weeks, or months. 
and then you enter a number, or just leave it set to 1 for the time frame. So for example, if you want items released every day, so your first item will be released one day after whatever event that you choose from the dropdown. And then your next item will get released one day after that, and so on. Or you can enter another number, like 2, and your items will be released out every other day. Or you can enter 5, and every 5 days a new item will get released, etc. And you could do the same for weeks or months. So you could say 1 and week. So these will release lessons one week after the other. So they'll get one lesson a week, and so on. And then in this last drop down, you'll select when the dripping will start. So this could be on the course start date. So this pertains to whenever a student starts a course, meaning they hit start on the first lesson. So they don't actually have to finish the first lesson. As soon as they view that first lesson, this will trigger. Or you can select on a fixed date, meaning a specific date in the future that you choose. So there's a calendar picker here to set that date. Or you can start the drip after a previous item has been completed. Or if you have the drip type set to section, like this, the trigger will be when the previous section is complete, meaning all the items in that section. So in both the cases of a previous section and item being completed, the first section or item, usually a lesson, will be available immediately to your students. So once they complete either the first item in your course, like your first lesson, for example, then the rest of the items in the course will get dripped out based on what you set here. Or if you have section set, when they complete all the items in that section, then the next section will start to be released. So in both the cases of a previous section and item being completed, the first section or item, usually a lesson in the case of an item, will be available immediately to your students. And then once they complete either the first item in your course, like your first lesson, then the rest of the items in the course will get dripped out based on what you set here. And in the case of setting a previous section, all the items, meaning all lessons, quizzes, and assignments in the first section, will be available immediately to a student once they get access to the course. And it won't be until they complete all the lessons, quizzes, and assignments in that section before the rest of the sections are dripped out based on what you set. Okay, so last, right here, you can set a time that the drip will occur. So you just set a time, and then select a time zone here. So for example, in the case of a daily drip, you could just set it to something like midnight UTC. Now, just one note. You'll notice here that the built-in course drip feature is based on equal intervals. So you just set a number of days, weeks, or months, like every one day or two days, for example, or once every month, for example and your drip will work. But if you do need to set up your dripping at an irregular interval, so for example, if you want to drip a section of a course one week after a certain date, and then the next section, say, three weeks later after that, and then the next section, say, two weeks later, etc., or maybe you have a lesson that you want to drip out a day after someone starts the course, and then the next quiz, two weeks after that, or some other configuration that's similar, you can definitely do that, but for these more advanced dripping configurations, you'll have to set it up with MemberPress rules. So our support docs has guides and some video tutorials on dripping content by creating MemberPress rules. So if you need to do one of these more advanced use cases, be sure to check those out for more guidance. But in that case, real quick, basically, you would just create a separate rule for each item or groups of items or sections of your course that you want to drip out, and then set the drip manually on the rule. And again, our guides and videos show you how to do that. So you would just go to Member Press and Rules, and then click Add New to create a new rule. And then here in the drop down for the rule types, you'll see a bunch of different rule types pertaining to courses, lessons, quizzes, sections, assignments, and course content with tags and categories applied to them. So with rules, you have a pretty much unlimited flexibility with protecting and dripping out and even expiring your course content. So if the use case that you want to achieve is beyond the built-in course dripping that we just went over in the video, you can set up a rule and drip out your content this way. So you would just select a rule type and then enter and select your content right here in this field, like a single lesson, for example. And then set your permissions right here. And then down here, click to enable drip. So here you can set up your interval, 
and then the event that will trigger the drip, like when a member registers, buys a membership at a specific fixed date, and more. So you can make as many rules as you need to set your drip on course content individually to achieve whatever configuration that you need. And our support docs has a lot of resources again on setting up those rules and dripping if you need help. Now, just take a note that if you do use rules to drip, any course content dripping applied through MemberPress rules will override the built-in dripping set through the course settings. So if you have drip enabled on the course in the settings tab, and you also have drip set up through rules, the rules will override the drip set right on the MemberPress course settings. So just keep that in mind. Now, I just wanted to go over the rules method because it is available to you, but honestly, you'll be able to cover most of your use cases right with the built-in course dripping, but the rules are there if you need them. So with enabling drip right in the settings tab of a course, you don't have to create any rules at all. It's all handled for you right on the course. Okay, so going back to my course, one thing I wanna mention is if here in the course, I go to the settings tab, there's an option here to require a previous lesson or quiz to be complete before a student can move on to the next one. So disabling this option would let your students skip around in your course to future lessons without having to complete previous ones. So if you do enable drip here in the course in the settings tab, the require previous lesson quiz option will automatically be enabled, which you can see here. So you need the require previous lesson and quiz option on for the drip here to work. And you'll only be able to disable require previous lesson quiz only when the drip toggle is turned off. So just keep that in mind. But in general, to achieve a nice simple course experience for your student, you want both options on anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna set up a basic drip here in my course to show you what this initially looks like for a student taking it. So back here in the settings, I'll go ahead and enable the drip and then set it to item and select all my items. And then I'll drip them out one every day after the course start date. So after a student views the first lesson at this time right here. So I'll click here to save the course and the drip settings. So now it's all saved and the drip is set. Now I'll open my site in a new incognito window. So I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. So an incognito window lets you view your site totally logged out as if you're a brand new site visitor, which is really useful for testing things out. And then I'll go to log in and then log in as a test user account I have set up on my site that has access to the course. And then once the test user is logged in, I'll head to their account page, which I have linked up here and go to view their courses and then click to take the course. So the student can see all the upcoming lessons and quizzes and assignments and their names so they can view their entire curriculum. And when this test user goes to start the course, they could take the first lesson because remember my drip is set to drip out per item when they start taking the course. So they'll need to have that first lesson available to start the course and then my drip will fire. And then they see the first lesson right away like you see here. And then when they try to see the next lesson, they can't see it and instead see my message telling them when the next lesson will be available. So that's what course dripping looks like for your students. In the last part of the video, I'm gonna quickly give you some ideas and ways that you might wanna structure your courses for dripping. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do this, but I have some sample courses opened up here just to show you a few. So again, you have pretty much unlimited flexibility with dripping out your course content. You can drip by section or by item, so an individual lesson, assignment, or quiz. And of course, you can group lessons and quizzes together by tag or category, or drip it out by section. But generally speaking, for most use cases, you'll either drip out lessons and quizzes and assignments one by one, or whole sections one by one. So here on this course that I have opened up here, you can see that I have all my course material divided up with these sections. And these sections and lessons have names pertaining to what's being taught. So I could either drip out section by section, say once every week, or I can drip out item by item, say dripping one out every day. And then here in this course, this one has the sections named day one, day two, day three, etc. So this makes it more clear to students what day they're on, and it indicates that they'll get a group of lessons, quizzes, and assignments every day. So for this, I'd set a daily drip and select section. You could also name these week one, week two, and do the same thing 
every week or every seven days. Or you can maybe have a different lesson, for example, for every day of the week. So you can just name the lessons whatever you want. Maybe it pertains to the material. Or you can name lessons day one, two, three, or week one, two, three, etc. And then drip them out accordingly. And if you want to do something more advanced, like making all your lessons available right away, but then drip out your quizzes, you can do this more advanced configuration with MemberPress rules. And that's it. You've now seen how to drip out your course content within MemberPress courses. Check out our knowledge base for much more information and further guidance on the whole process, as well as tutorials on creating courses, quizzes, and a whole lot more. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on MemberPress's many profitable features. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.